Saturday morning it's uh according to the clock 548 uh makatulog eh uh medyo nocturnal tayong tao so kagabi gising Actually, papa umaga na, umaga na nga, kaya pagising pa rin. Um, just uh, going for a quick ride uh, to test out my uh, vlogging setup. Just bought a uh, a chain mount for my helmet nakabibili ko lang kahapon may vlog din tayo dyan so kung hindi nyo pa napapanood panuuri nyo nandyan lang shout out ulit sa Moto World ayoko na sa inyo I don't like you I know you don't like me but I don't like you too ng kwenta, lalo na hindi ko nila lahat ng ano ah branches ng Moto World ah. so bad trip lang talaga ako dun sa Moto World sa may uh, SM Mega Mall yan, okay bakit ako bad trip sa Moto World sa SM Mega Mall Unang una, lahat ng hinanap ko sa kanila walang stock. Mas may stock pa Lazada. Kasalanan ba nila? Ewan ko. Pero isa pang nakakainis is yung mga tao doon, yung mga dapat na mag-assist. Mga tamad na tamad sa buhay. So, pag mga ganun ng mga kausap mo nakakatamad bumili oh. okay hindi natin kung nag-record nag-record naman siya hindi ko alam kung masyadong mataas hindi ko sobrang taas eh Ayan. yung taas ulit natin So, siguro, ganun na nga. Never again, Moto World. Never again. Ang dami ng mga motorista ngayon. Alas 6 pa rin. Alas 6 pa lang. So, just going for a quick ride. Siguro, diretsoin ko itong C5. Okay. Siguro kahit mas ulit lang naman ng konti itong ano yung dashboard Okay na yan How's the audio? Hindi naman ako ganun kalakas magsalita pero Definitely hindi ito yung normal speaking voice ko uh, Medyo kailangan kasi ilakas ko ng konti eh dahil wala tayong mic tapos naka waterproof case pa tong action cam ko so hindi ko alam kung dinig ba kung dinig man tanong malinaw ba kaya I can't wait but test it kaya nandito tayo ngayon for a quick test of my Moto Vlog Serap So dito lang sa Kapasigan Ikot ikot lang tayo dito uh, After nito matutulog na ako uh, Nakaramdam na ako ng tulog eh. Lang antok Namaya pala pupunta ako rito May Maricel Online Store Ayan. 
Diyan mo kasi binili yung action cam ko tapos OMG, what is that? Do I see uh, and check? Okay. Mamaya, pag uwi ko, unang-una kong gagawin, papanoorin ko ito. Bago ako matulog. Kailangan kong tandaan yung angle ng uh, action cam ko ngayon. Para makita ko kung mataas ba siya or mababa or kung tama yan just a few thoughts as well sa Honda Click ko almost 3 uh, days old uh, still I am very happy sa motor na to sobrang smooth Siguro, kung meron man tayong konti Alam mo na uh, Hindi naman angal Pero ang hindi gusto is Medyo mataas talaga no? Pero okay naman It's not a, it's not a deal breaker 5-6 um, ako Pero nakatingga yan eh. And it's mainly because of the The way the seats are designed kasi malapad no? I appreciate na it's thick because it's uh, it provides uh, a very comfortable uh, you know, seating experience uh, pero yun nga since nakabuka ka ka parang dumudiit yung legs mo because of that uh, okay pero other than that, wala na akong ibang angal actually. Uh, sobrang tipid, lalo na kung ganito lang yung takbo mo. Hindi well, ko pa siya inaharurot masyado kasi nasa break-in period pa ako. Pero so far, I average uh, sa first run ko sa Motor Central sa Lawag sa Das Makavite pa uwi ng Pasig. I actually got 47, 46 kilometers no? and that was a uh, an afternoon ride so hindi na masama no? para sa break in period tapos kakakuha ko lang hindi na masama hindi na masama and last night when I went to uh SM Mega Mall so from Pasig to SM Mega Mall I was able to get around 37 kilometers per liter pero yung driver ko nun yung pamangkain ko which oh yeah the ways 100 kilos at least and then ako nasa 80 to 85 So, almost 200 kilograms of weight tapos isasabay mo pa sa traffic the best okay. the best pero still no, 36 to 37 not bad I used to get that fuel consumption sa new UI so that just uh, goes to show you how fuel efficient uh, on the flakes are Not just this new version, no? but the same with, same goes with uh, the, the older clicks. Kasi pareho lang naman ang makina rin ito. Wala eh. ah, namang masyadong nabago. Actually, if you look at the spec sheet sa motor trade, uh, compare the old 125 to the new 125, mas, uh, mas torky pa ng konti. A uh, couple of points, no? decimal points. Uh, compared sa yung, yung luma no? it has a bit I think it's not torque maybe the horsepower a couple of points higher than uh, this uh, click here so hindi na talaga matama ay daan tayo dito <laughs> 
Okay, back to barracks. Uh, that was uh, again, as I said, a very quick ride to test my uh, vlogging setup, and then I'll make some adjustments from there. Ang sarap magmotor ng umaga, napakalamig, tapos walang masyado pang sasakyan so talagang it's the best time to ride it's very relaxing uh, I haven't had a motorcycle for a uh, couple of months since I sold my uh, my old click sa pang mga link and then prior to that I used to own a Rishi Gamma 200 so nasa videos ko rin yan It was a good, it was a good bike, but I had to sell it for uh, uh, some personal reasons. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I loved that bike. I loved it. It was uh, a very cheap sports bike, and uh, I wanted to experience how to ride a sports bike, or at least yung stands, no, no, isang sports bike and I got it from uh, the Rishi Gamma SS200 so it was good, it was a good experience and yung mga nagsasabi na Rishi katapos Suri eh, wala nang bagong irit itryin nyo muna bago kayo magsalita <laughs> yes, it's not the best in terms of quality but Again, you're not paying a Honda or a Yamaha price for a 200cc motorcycle. No, you're not. So don't expect uh, quality. But it's really more of just enjoying the ride and, you know, getting a motorcycle that has a design that you won't get from, you know, from uh, the other brands for that price. So that's the only, that's the reason right there. Alright, we're back at home. That ends my vlog for today. Ciao everyone.